We're in Copenhagen, Denmark, and behind me is Copenhill. It's a waste to energy plant which turns the city's rubbish into heat and power. But one of the most remarkable things about it is that there's a dry ski slope on the roof. It's been designed by Danish architects Bjarke Ingels Group, or BIG, and the whole point is to create a dual use for the building and to make one of the least desirable places in the city, the place your rubbish goes, into somewhere people actually want to visit. My name is uh, Bjarke Ingels. I'm the founder and creative director of Bjarke Ingels Group, or BIG, and we are standing in Copenhagen on this uh, human-made mountain where you can hike, uh, you can ski, What's even more unique about uh, Copenhagen is that it's the cleanest waste to energy power plant in the world. There are no toxins coming out of the chimney, just some steam. In this case, the innovation is the clean technology. So that meant that we could completely reimagine what does a power plant mean. My name is Jacob Simonsen. I'm the CEO of ARC. Here we produce so much energy that we are able to make 19 Olympic-sized swimming pools boil from 0 to 100 degrees every day. We treat waste from Copenhagen and four other municipalities in the Greater Copenhagen area. We service about 680,000 people every day. We get about 250 to 350 trucks a day. The waste is then dumped into what we call the bunker. From the bunker, it is feeded into the furnaces. The furnaces will, will burn. When it burns, it will heat up the district heating water. And the other part of the water goes into steam, and that steam runs a turbine. The last piece of the process is the shrubbers, the big towers you see out here. It is actually an acidic shower with calcium to take out the environmental hazardous uh, products before we emit clean air and water vapor to the uh, environment. In the city, you know, you're not supposed to walk on the grass. You have to wait for the green light. You can't climb the facades of the buildings. On this building, all the things that you're normally not supposed to do, you're actually more than welcome to do. At the tallest moment, almost 100 meters, there is the tallest climbing wall in the world. Here you actually have an elevator that takes you from the foot of the mountain to the peak of the mountain. You can look out over the city as you rise. You can look in to this cathedral of waste to energy. All along the perimeter, you have more than 200 trees. All the species have been chosen so they can endure the climate almost 100 meters up in the air. So it's this kind of natural meadow it feels like a little slice of Switzerland in the middle of, uh, of Copenhagen. Copenhill is a great example of Bjarke Ingels' concept of hedonistic sustainability. This idea that just because something's rooted in sustainability doesn't mean it can't also be fun. And you don't have to sacrifice comfort or enjoyment to do things that are good for the planet. It doesn't have to be a, a dirty, polluting, big ugly box that casts shadows on the neighbors and blocks the views. The most sort of exciting and dramatic park uh, in the city is now sitting on a bedrock of a power plant.